Why would I go and design a bearing if I just got done saying that commercial off-the-shelf parts are favorable? It's because this bearing's purpose is not to just be a bearing. Its intention is to be parametric with all of its features able to become part of another part. If you want to design a part that passes airflow through a joint but still allow it to spin, then this is the enabling starting point. Or if we have a robotic arm made out of off-the-shelf components for the members, we're going to enable designers to simply take a piece of nickel strip, insert that into the next iteration of this design so that we have a customizable slip ring, baby. This is going to transmit power and bear loads at the same time. And here's my benchmark. Yeah, this is actually a full on jack and it'll carry a car and light it up at the same time. And we can make our own 